So, uh, why did you decide to include London in your title? Yeah, really, um, you know, London sort of two tiers. First of all, it's always been a you know, centre of conflict from the uh, hmm. from when the Romans invaded. Um, also, you know, we've got great historical events. The city, which has always really been in turmoil. Tell us about the game scenario. We know that it's based in the future and that London is filled by demonic creatures. But what exactly is Gamer's role in the game and where did he and these demons come from? Yeah, basically it's set in uh, the year 2038. Yeah. Um, 19 years have passed since uh, demon inva demons invaded, Hellriffs opened. Um, and basically, the, uh, the underground network in London serves as like a safe haven for our heroes. Um, let me just quickly go into... And why is London filled uh, from demons? Uh, basically, they've taken over... So, can you hold on one second, sorry. Um, this person in the right area. They, um, it's basically been a demon invasion, and uh, basically so they've taken the whole world. So this, but this game really just focuses on London. Uh, you know, pretty much through different areas in the world have been affected differently. Um, in London, there's been um, there's really a central resistance. You've got the Templar Knights there. You've got the uh, Cabalists and also the Hundred Masters. Do you have to travel to hell to close the gate? Yeah, that's you know that's uh, basically in this story you need to. Uh, Resistance will be trying to look for uh, different ways to different ways to stop the demon invasion, kill the demons, and also you sort of like solve how the demons are getting into our world. Uh, since our main contacts will be demons, uh, how are you planning to present us the story till the end of the game? Uh, well, I can't really go into too many details of exactly how the story is going to go, but then yeah, you'll be finding um, dozens and dozens of different demons, dozens and dozens of different classes. The cool thing we've really got about Hellgate, okay, let me just quickly go into this level. Okay. About factions and classes? Yeah, so we've got uh, we've got three different factions, the Templar Knights, the Cabalists, and the uh, Marksmen and the Hunter classes. Now each faction is actually split into two character classes, so the Templar Knights is split into Guardians and Blade Masters. So both really kind of classic sort of melee classes. Blade, the Blade Masters are really you can like third person melee class, love to get in the action, for instance. Degrees, double, double sword, um, and the guardians are great at. Got to these guys. Is it a linear game, or can you clear the game through alternative paths? Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a whole. Well, Hellgate is completely randomised. Did you ever play the Diablo games? Yeah. Okay, so uh, some of Diablo has got like randomised loot, monsters, but uh, most importantly the environment. Um, each time you'll play through a, uh, the same quest again, you'll be fighting in a, the layout of the environment will differ. And also in terms of different environments as well, sometimes you'll go through a mission and you'll have to pass through um, sewers, other times it'll be dungeons, uh, like an old Victorian ballroom. And we also have like, cool things like random events as well happening in quests. For instance, uh, I was playing a level the other day, and uh, I must have played it dozens and dozens of times and suddenly um, I noticed in ground there's a, a pothole in the ground and I could actually go through uh, and complete the mix quest for another way. Uh, in Hellgate we've got around 250 different quests in a single player game. But um, really the single player game is only you know, half the experience. What we've also got is uh, We've got a free online component where players will be able to play online with their friends free, cooperatively, play through the game. One of the cool things we're also adding in is um, a subscription service. We'll have a uh, whole new content, uh, new character classes, uh, new areas. Let me just for those that do subscribe. Yeah, yeah. So what uh, I'm just here is uh, summoning up a, a Carnegie. Okay. How many programmers have you got there in Flexit from the Diablo team? Uh, the from original? the Diablo team, core Diablo team, we have 18. 18 programmers? Yeah. So that's including um, you know, Dave Brevik, uh, Max and Eric Schaefer, the guys who are pretty much, you know, came up with the Diablo concept of an Eric Condor and you know, finally went into Zizendorf. So uh, 
yeah, we've got a, you know a great history of uh, you know some great development pedigrees, um, but you know also flagships growing. We've got a um, growing incredibly lot. We've got around 50 developers, I think now, and uh, yeah, from a lot of different backgrounds, all kind of like putting their magic into the game. Uh, what type of quests will you include in the game? Uh, yeah, we'll, so we'll have like randomised quests. We'll have. Uh, we also have uh, character class uh, faction specific quests, um, storyline quests, and also side quests as well. So in total, we're looking at about 10, 250. Uh, How much quality and quantity did you implement considering weapon and loot system? And is loot system rewarding to users? Yeah, yeah. Um, let me just show you. So we've got a. Um, so basically, uh, the weapon system, uh, or the skill system, each character's class is a skill tree, you've got around 26 unique skills, um, and these can be very different. Um, you've got, you know, from your, you know, your normal RPG experience, you've got five, as you level up each class, you're given five points towards your accuracy, strength, stamina and willpower. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, really we've got a very unique skill system. We've also got a an inventory where you can uh, let's see here. You can mod weapons as well, so you can add as mod slots in each weapon. You can break these down. So what we're really trying to do, and also at Hellgate, is to make everything very individual. For instance, uh, okay, one thing to find about people who play a lot of like uh, RPGs is um, or MMO games is the fact that they get all these kind of cool different weapons and put it all together, and they look like a clown. Well, Hellgate. We've, uh, we've got die kits, so... Actually, I can't do any stuff to do in a second, we move that, but uh, I'll show you in a moment. Do you think that the game is a bit dark? You know, it, has, uh, it doesn't have any light, uh, light areas. It's more than dark game. Yeah, you know, it's certainly, it's, um, you know, this is what happens when the hell rifts have opened. Yes, but this might be boring, uh, considering when playing uh, I don't many think so. hours. It's, I think uh, what, you'll, what you'll definitely find playing the game is, you know, it really comes, it changes in the environment. There's, uh, you know, we've got everything in here. We've got a lot of, kind of like, urban areas, we've got in the Thames, we've got um, using a lot of famous London landmarks, like Piccadilly Circus, uh, the British Museum, uh, Watson Road. I think, you know, really, the varied environments and stuff really kind of like, uh, yeah, show a game how, yeah, how much fun it is. Is uh, uh, gameplay close to Oblivion or Diablo in some uh, parts of it? Um, you know, how we've always kind of described it is, uh, you know, Diablo meets Half-Life 2. Um, you know, so we've got that great, you know, randomization of Diablo, the replayability. Uh, but, you know, what's been great about Hellgate is the fact that you can play it from a first-person uh, point of view. And uh, you know, it really changes. It really changes how people the immersion of a game, how people get involved, how you know how they identify the characters. So yeah, we're really, really proud of uh, you know the job the guys have done, and um, yeah, looking forward to get everyone playing it this Christmas. Uh, how many difficulty levels are there? Uh, yeah, we have. Once you play uh, play the game on a um, single player mode, you will then be able to play it in uh, two different difficulty levels. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to have... Two, two difficulty levels? Yeah, yeah, there'll be two increased difficulty levels which you can play the game through. But you have to... Uh, any unlock, any unlock the level? Uh, yeah, 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 you, you can play the game through the whole way on like a different difficulty level. But you have to play through... You have to play through the original setting first. You play at the normal and uh, a yeah. hard level is unlocked? Uh, yeah, once you, is complete, unlocked. once you complete the game. Uh, which elements do you think you have and you can... With these elements you can overcome all these uh, RPG competitors in the market. Um, you know, I think certainly, um, you know, number one, we've got a really cool setting. Uh, yeah. You know, we've got, we've got no orcs, we've got a, you know, we've got a really, really cool London, post-apocalyptic London setting. Um, we've got some great character classes, we've got um, randomization. You're never going to play, um, you know, the same experience. You're never going to the same experience twice. You know, there's a lot of the RPG games out there which, you know, which have been fantastic, but um, you know, you can't be, you can't be replay again. With Hellgate, you've got like randomised invasion weapon. So it's really, you know, a lot of sorts of getting like new loot, um, new currency, and all this kind of thing. So. Since uh, Hellgate is a single-player RPG, do you think you can release it in the consoles in the near future? Who knows? You know, our big focus at the moment is shipping the PC version. Um, you never know. You never okay. know. But, you know, we certainly uh, we have no plans at present. Um, you know, flagship is a um, is predominantly a PC developer. That's the way the guys. You know, that's what we really know the PC well. Um, that's what our history is. But um, you know, it really depends on how successful the game is in the PC when we release it.
What about the release date and the specifications? Yeah, uh, release date is going to be um, looking in Europe on throughout Europe on November second, 2007. Um, and on day one, we will also be having um, a subscription content package as well, which have like a whole load of like new content. Um, the subscription, we've been looking at doing stuff like uh, new events. We'll be having like events around Guy Fawkes Day in the UK on November 5th. Uh, yeah, so it's just really, really excited to get people out there getting played. I think that uh, because Peggy rating is pending, do you think that your game will probably get uh, an 18 plus due to its nature? It has lots of blood and... Uh, yeah, uh, I know, I think we, we are waiting for Peggy rating at the moment, but yeah, we, we're probably looking around, we're looking at age rating. And uh, which games do you play in your free time? Uh, I play a lot of different stuff. At the moment I've been playing, um, I've just got a copy of FIFA 2008, which I'm yeah. playing quite a lot. On um, my DS I'm playing a bit of brain training. On my Wii I've just completed um, Resident Evil, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's, I'm really looking forward to probably top of my list, Half-Life 2, Crisis. Um, I'm trying to think what else coming up for Christmas. Uh, kind of Army, Army of Two looks interesting from what I've seen of it. W which one? Army of Two. Army of Two. A kind of cool car play. Uh, obviously next year Starcraft 2 looks amazing. Any other games uh, that you have you played Oblivion or other RPGs from other publishers as well? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I've sort of played, loved Oblivion. They did an absolutely great job of recreating the world. Um, also kind of looking forward to checking out The Witcher um, from CD Projekt, which has been published by Atari. Which looks really interesting. Um, I kind of like what I've read about their mythology and stuff. It looks uh, it's more of a kind of like traditional sort of Baldur's Gate kind of RPG. But um, yeah, kind of, that would be pretty fun. Something else that you would like to add about the game? I'm just looking forward uh, for everyone to start playing it when it's out November second. Yeah. So very excited to get um, everyone playing Hellgate. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.